Hey, this is Piotr Wolczyn again. Uh, so this is a third episode from uh, Reflow intro, and this time we'll see how we can use some styling features in Reflow to make our design much more beautiful. Uh, so go ahead, if you don't have the assets for this uh, for this tutorial, you can download those uh, from the link below. And I already have that uh, zip file unzipped, of course, and I'll go into a second um, step, which is style here so I'll open this project and you will see that uh, what you open here is a, a fully complete uh, design of my getting started with reflow page and uh, well things first thing I want to do is I want to set some nice font face or a typeface for all of my uh, text elements here so I can assign with reflow and um, a, a, a default font uh, on the body level of my design so if I click somewhere outside the grid let's say on this white area here you'll see that the selection changes to body here in this breadcrumbs here and I can go to styling and in styling here in the upper left corner you'll see I have my typeface selection here so I can add a new typeface so what it pops up is a panel with edge web fonts family which are a free web fonts um, provided by adobe it also has uh, some uh, web fonts from google so it's very uh, cool and you can look for uh, a particular uh, font maybe by name uh, by some type of fonts and so on but i will use lato which i really like uh, this font so i select lato and you will see that all the fonts here have changed into um into Lato, so it's a default font for all of my elements. Also, if you happen to be a Typekit user, you can also uh, create a Typekit kit and uh, place the kit ID here and you will be able to use the font from there. So, uh, well, let's stick with Lato for now. So we have it here. Now, I can go in and start uh, playing around with uh, some of my elements. So first, let's uh, increase a little bit the size of uh, our uh, title. So I go in here, I have to be in a styling tab and you'll see it, um, the this typography um, tab is now visible and or the panel is visible and you can uh, start playing around with things like changing maybe the font size and two EMs I think are pretty good for, for that font uh, for that uh, text here I can change the color which I really don't want but just show you that there is the option I can play around which is really cool thing uh, with the weight uh, of my font so uh, you can see in a lot of it's also very nice because uh, it provides you know you know like most of the weights and well I think we'll stick with something that was default here normal uh, but you know you can see you can also play with, uh, with spacing and set some values of spacing uh, and so many other things like well maybe let's make all of our fonts uh, caps so it will uh, transform it and we can play around with with some things like layout and so on okay we're there now uh, the next point we if you remember and you can see a little bit here on that image uh, that um, our hero uh, image has this background with this nice striping which sort of mimics the reflow icon so what I can do I can select it go to backgrounds here and click on the background at color and select something that is sort of well, well sort of bluish something like this I think this should be pretty nice now what I want to do I want to add stripes so in HTML by default you don't have that effect well maybe you could play around with things like maybe gradients and so on but let's stick with uh, with a typical approach so I'll add an image and that image is actually a a header stripes PNG which is one pixel wide it has some transparency and 52 pixels high so I can select that and you can see it has applied that image and repeated it either you know uh, vertically horizontally and now we have this striping effect 
Well, maybe actually the blue th color wasn't good enough, not dark enough, so now it's much better. Okay, uh, so there we go. But if you look at the icon of Refable really close, you will see that it has sort of a, a vignette effect. Now, how do I add a vignette effect? Well, you can use shadows for that. So I add shadow and instead of adding an outset shadow, I will add an inset shadow and increase the blur of inset shadow to be something really high and other properties I have to zero out and now I have maybe something around 200 pixels um, blur effect uh, distance so now it is really giving me this nice looking uh, sort of a vignette effect as you can see uh, here now uh, if I go in and maybe select uh, my titles of the step boxes and holding a shift key I can select multiple elements and now what I can do I can go in and maybe increase the weight so let's make it a little bit bigger let's increase the size well 2 EMs is too much I think 0.4, 0 0.5 yeah point for four is good and maybe change uh, the color to something again something that is close to blue okay and you can see I just styled my text elements and I can go ahead and style other uh, elements of my design and remember you can like select multiple select you know design the style at the same time multiple elements uh, also there are other effects so if I wanted well in my design it doesn't really make sense but let me just show you this maybe if I wanted to have more, some radius effect I could add some radius effect as well here so and I can maybe if I want to just apply the radius effect uh, to a single or to one corner I don't want it let's say like this so you can see you can do really a lot of styling with reflow itself okay uh, so I encourage you to give it a try play around with all kinds of options and uh, we'll see how that goes Okay, thank you very much and stay tuned for the next episode where we'll actually go in and start making this uh, right now static design a responsive design. Okay, stay tuned and bye.